I'm Dr. Pratik Mukherjee. I'm an associate professor of radiology at the University of California, San Francisco, and I'm a physician on the neuroradiology service here at UCSF Medical Center. Neuroimaging, as it's practiced medically, generally refers to uh, CAT scans, so we call them CT scans of the head, and also MRI scans or magnetic resonance imaging scans of the brain. Uh, it can also refer to imaging of the spine and occasionally of uh, the neck as well. My major research project is in uh, patients who suffered a mild traumatic brain injury, concussions for example. What we find is we scan the patients early after their injury, within a couple of weeks uh, after their head injury, and then we scan them a month later and then a year later. And um, some of the patients have uh, lesions on their MRIs due to the head injury, uh, such as contusions, uh, basically bruises on the brain, which affect mainly the cortex of the brain, the cerebral cortex gray matter. Other patients have little hemorrhages within the white matter of the brain, what we call microhemorrhages, and they show up as little black dots on the uh, MRI scans. Those are indications of the patient's injury at a structural level. We're doing functional MRI and we're seeing early after the injury that areas responsible for memory and attention are often altered such that the areas may be less active early after the concussion than it would be in a normal person. Uh, but then later after the injury, like if you're six months to a year after your concussion, uh, those areas may become more active, in fact may become hyperactive compared to a normal subject. So there is dynamic changes that happen after a concussion too. We're hoping that those will give us more insights into the underlying science of how the brain works and the networks that are involved in these processes and how they can be disrupted by a head injury, even a mild head injury. And then the other hope is that this information will help in tailoring uh, treatments for these subjects. So perhaps people with concussion who are at risk for these uh, persistent problems may benefit from um, cognitive enhancement therapy uh, or antidepressants. Uh, they may uh, benefit from cognitive therapy uh, like video games designed to improve their uh, memory, improve their ability to pay attention, and so forth. And these are areas we're actively exploring in our research.